hello guys so now in this video we are going to allow the seller to click on this button which is get my current location in order to get the uh, location of the cafe and restaurant automatically that is the Google map positions okay that is from the latitude and longitude okay so for that we will we will have to add uh, some dependencies first of all the your locator and geocoding okay so for that go to your browser and simply go to pubdev okay pub.dev and search for geo locator this first one geo locator with null safety okay just click on it click on installing and here you will see these dependencies geo locator so just copy it now come back to the project and in here in our pubspec.yml file we have to simply paste it below the image picker okay just like this similarly we will use the geo coding so for that okay first of all come here to the readme okay for the geo locator and inside the readme if you scroll here you will see this uh, android okay click here android and we have to do some steps here which is basically the for the android the first step which is this one add the following to your gradle dot properties so copy these two lines okay and then come back to the project inside the android we have build gradle dot properties this one it is already here okay i mean this android x and enable jetifier it is by default it is in our project okay in our filter project the next one is to ins uh, i mean we have to change our compile sdk version inside our android app build or gradle to 31 so for that inside our android app build dot gradle and our compile sdk version we have to set it to 31 and then comes the permissions so just copy these permission okay for accessing the location so copy it and yeah come back to the project and in our project inside the android app src main android manifest.xml okay this one come here inside this and here above the application we have to simply paste it for accessing i mean these are the permissions for accessing the location then comes the ios part okay so for the ios we have to add these permission for accessing location into our info.plist file so just copy this come back to the project and let's close this okay so inside the ios runner inside the runner we have info.plist and now in here you can simply paste it inside the dictionary okay dictionary so this is what we just pasted okay after this also copy this okay we just need this one okay not the this one so anyways we have already passed this in order to get the location now the next thing is to add the other dependency which is by the name geo coding this one okay geo coding with null safety so open it installing just copy this okay come back to the project come inside here to the pop spec dot ml file and just paste that here and now let's just implement I mean in order to get the location okay first of all make sure that inside the pop spec ml you click on this pub get or you can also write the command flutter pub get in order to add these geolocator and geocoding dependencies in our project okay so it has been added successfully now come back here and here let's create an instance 
of getting the position okay so we can say position which is this one geolocator dot dot okay and then you can give it name as position and then we will need a list for class marks so we can say list class mark which is from the library geocoding dot dot okay so let's give it name as plus marks and now let's implement the function for getting the current location so we can say get current location it will be a synchronous function so we can say position new position equal with geolocator dot get current position and in here we can say desired accuracy location accuracy dot high okay so there are multiple options okay that is the accuracy for your uh, I mean in order to get the location current location that is best for navigation best low lowest medium reduce so we will go with the high one okay location accuracy dot high because we are getting the exact location of the cafe or restaurant of the seller okay and for the riders of course we will use the accuracy which is best for navigation since the rider will uh, pick uh, the parcel from the cafe and then from the cafe the rider will move towards the user location so we will use for there this option which is best for navigation but here we want to get the exact location of the cafe that's why we go with the location accuracy high so anyways now after this we will assign the new position to the position and then we have to get the latitude and longitude of whatever the position which we get from the new position okay so in order to do that we will use plus marks so you can say plus marks equals to wet and then get the latitude and longitude from the position current position so we can say plus mark from coordinates plus mark from coordinates so then we have the first one which is position dot latitude comma position dot longitude okay after this now it basically return multiple location okay since google provide us back a uh, list of places so we will get the exact first location okay which is which is at the zeroth index okay we will get that appropriate correct address from the zeroth index so in order to get that we can simply say that plus mark we will give it name and p mark here is plus mark but in order to differentiate the name so anyways we can say plus marks and get it from the zeroth index make sure to add the non null sign here since we have the plus mark okay the corrected uh, location now we have to get the address the textual uh, address from our uh, correct position or you can say from the latitude and longitude exact latitude and longitude we have to get the address that is the textual address for example uh, street 39 USA California and simple like that okay so anyways now we can create a string type variable we will give it name as a new complete address equals to and then add single quotes and now in here first of all we can simply say dollar curly braces p mark 
dot sub true face sub true fear this one okay which will basically get the location step by step and you can uh, even uh, see these in the documentation for geocoding geo coding and geolocator okay uh, in order to get the street then after comes the road that is which road then after comes the house number the sector the city name okay so that's why step by step we are getting it so anyways after it give some space okay one space and then copy paste that here and we can say pmark dot thoroughfare comma then comes the locality okay so we can say pmark dot sub locality and then space paste it here and then comes the locality sub locality locality after the locality add a comma we have to add the sub administrative area okay so you can say p mark dot sub administrative area comma and then we can get p mark dot administrative area and then we can also get the postal code okay using the p mark plus mark okay so you can say p mark dot postal code of that area comma the country name finally so you can say p mark dot country so yeah, that's it so let me just show it to you what we have done here we get the p mark sub thoroughfare then thoroughfare p mark okay just follow the exact same steps and make sure that you are inside the single quotes okay and then comma we say sub locality locality comma then sub administrative area comma p mark administrative area p mark dot postal code comma p mark dot country okay and it is inside the single course if i show you i hope you can see it okay let me just show it to you guys one more time so that you can do it easily so anyways this is our address which will include basically the you can say the if your if your location is known by the Google map okay because as you know there are some places which are not mentioned on the Google Maps I mean mostly 99% it is mentioned but let's say if you are uh, living in a far village area so maybe it do not deduct your street number and road name but it will sound deduct the city name and the sector name so this is our complete address okay for example if you are living in California then it will deduct that is your that is which street you are living on the road name the sector name and then the state name of course the country name okay so just like this it goes and of course you can see the documentation for it okay if you want to further investigate the details of it but anyways uh, it is simple I mean you will see it now when we test the app so now we have the complete address we can simply assign this to our location controller you can say location controller dot text and assign the complete address to it so simple and so easy now we have to call this function okay whenever the user click I mean the seller click on yet my current location button so come down here where we have our button get my current location on pressed okay so let's just remove this and now we can say get current location now let's just test the app to see if it is working or not
register click on get my current location now, as you can see it is not getting the location I mean it is not asking for the permission because we have hot restart the app okay we have to fully install the app and in order to do that you have to close the debugging first okay debugging has been closed and now you can simply run the app again and it will work because we have done some major, major changes in our application so anyways let's just wait for it let's go to the register and then click on get my current location and here we go allow food Wanda seller app to access this device location so if you click on allow it will simply get the location as you can see here okay it is getting my current location so if you are testing on your real phone then it will get your real location okay since you know I'm using this Android emulator okay but in case of original I mean Android smartphone or iPhone it will get the the exact current location of the seller that is yours location okay cafe or restaurant location also if you want to make it enable so for that I already told you guys you have to simply check here that is this is true okay if you want to make it enable that is for example I want to change the address manually from here also okay let's say you want to add further things to the full address so yeah I mean it is working fine one more thing which I need to mention here is that if you want to use an Android emulator okay uh, I mean if you do not want to test it now or if you have no access to test it on the original phone okay then you can test it on the Android emulator as well I mean you can set your device location for this Android emulator by simply clicking here on this three dotted button and it will show you this page okay let's wait for it and from here you can search your flash for example where you are living for example if I search any place in my location for example G10 Islamabad or so you can even search for streets for example if you are living in USA for example okay first you will search for your country name okay here that is for example USA okay and then you have to set the location for that now once you set the location for USA you can search for any street here for example street 22 or street anything okay here you can see it will now show location uh, nearest to the USA as you can see here and so on I mean you can search for different street addresses also in order to set the location for testing purposes for this Android emulator similarly you can do for the iOS simulator also anyways in my case I'm going to search for my city here first okay or country directly okay so anyways okay and now you can simply search for let's say any street street 8 or okay here you can see street 8 F11 okay you can see the full address here so set the location for it so it is now the location of this device if I simply come here and refresh the app I mean restart the app or restart and then go to the register and click here on get my current location then you will see it that will get my that location okay alongside with the street and the road name which is 32 east okay and then f11 i mean the full address it will simply get it here and display it alongside with the state province you are living and the country name so yeah it is working fine that is really nice and really incredible see you guys in the next video bye for now